are currently watching this video, which if you're listening to me or watching this video, I can assume that you know that Game of Thrones is on its very last season. And I thought to myself, why not make a series? I wanted to do more than just a beauty look in this video, so this side is very achievable, and this side, it's achievable, but you know, you're half of a dragon, so it's really up to you. I wanted to go with the concept of as if she did start to burn, and she started to form into a dragon because of the flames. Because, interestingly enough, I don't own any baby dragons for this video, and I wanted to be a dragon, so it kind of worked out. I actually made the chest that you guys saw in the intro, as well as all of the eggs. I made a video on that. It took me 16 hours to do it. Don't worry, the video is not 16 hours long. I will link that in the description as well as in the corner, please go check it out. It took me a long time and it looks really cool and I'm really happy with it. If you have any requests that you guys would like to see me do within this Game of Thrones series, please let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoy seeing me as half of a dragon, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Back to voiceover days for this video. I'm starting off by filling in my brows with multiple different products because I naturally have very thin brows. Urban Decay also sent me their Game of Thrones collection and, you know, I wanted to try it out. And they have a sword brush. I first applied the shade King's Landing underneath my brow bone, but then I also felt like I needed a transitional color, so I used a light pink eyeshadow in my crease. I then applied the two gold colors in the Bay of Dragon section on the palette, and just added mascara. Go ahead and apply your foundation. I then apply their golden highlighter from this collection on my cheeks and basically all over my face. For my lips, I actually used the Sansa color because I felt like it matched better. I don't know, maybe it's just me. And applied some foundation to the inner part of my lips to make them appear a little larger. I also felt like my eyebrow wasn't dark enough, so you know, I made it darker. For the dragon side, I used a washable glue stick to cover my eyebrow. And to create the various spots in which I want to use prosthetic horns, I'm going to be using Tinsley Transfers. These are prosthetics that you basically apply like one of those temporary tattoos as a kid. I'm then just positioning my horns to see where I want to add the other ones and also applying them to my face. Clearly, they will not stay this gory looking. Because I want to do a red dragon inspired by the black and red egg, I first applied orange. I then went back in with red body paint, decided I looked a little bit too much like Harvey Dent that started to fill in my scales. All the detail of the scales might be a smidgen difficult to explain, so it might be one of those watch and repeat kind of things. I filled in part of my scales using yellow body paint just to get a general outline, but then started to fill in some dark red using Urban Decay's Game of Thrones palette. Because like I said, I want it to look like a dragon, not like half my skin is torn off and it's just like muscles. It doesn't look like muscles anyways, but I didn't- I wanted- I wanted to make sure it wasn't gonna look like muscles. Using a Q-tip with a little bit of water on it, I then just removed the space in which my teeth are going to go and filled them in using a cream body paint. I also used gray and black eyeshadows to shade the teeth. And filled in the mouth using black body paint. Using black body paint, I then continued to add all the details to the dragon. It's easier to watch than to explain. Added a little bit of yellow highlights where I felt necessary. Filled in my waterline using black eyeliner, and just did some general minor detailing so that way things didn't get too muddy. For my body, I went back in using black eyeshadow and black body paint to just kind of splotched it around my body. Using black body paint, I then went in and filled in all of the scales. To make things pop a little bit, just like I did on my face, I used yellow body paint just to add some highlights here and there. Using Prozid, I then applied it inside where my horns are going to go and stuck them in. I then just lightly colored them with body paint using yellow, brown, and just kind of mixed it together. And also added a little bit of last detailing using white body paint very, very lightly. 